Hello, this is Dan York with Voxeo, and in this tutorial today, I want to talk about Prophecy Log Search and reporting capability. When I go to the main page of Prophecy Log Search, I'm going to go and choose one of my searches, in this case, for the URL of a Voice XML application. This will now pull up all the records associated with this particular application. I've changed my preferences to be last seven days, so that's what came up by default. Now I'm going to go up here and click on Report on Results because you can see from the timeline that we do in fact have some. When I go into the Report on Results, I'll see on the left hand side a series of fields that were found in the log messages associated with this query. As the large arrow indicates, I am to click on a field to begin reporting. As I move my mouse down over the various different fields, you'll see a pop-up window that displays information about the various different fields that are here. So you get some sense of what the type of information is. In this case, I'm going to click on Caller ID, and this will now display for me a graph of the top values of the Caller ID for the results in the past seven days. If I move my mouse over and go over each, you can see there's a count of what the Caller ID is. And so I can get a sense of that. My first one was a 407 number. The second one was a 00012345, which is actually calls coming in from Skype through our Skype gateway. I can also scroll down here and I'll see a again a chart showing me a table with the caller ID, the count, and a percent on there. Now I have some capabilities up here in the upper right on this drop-down menu that says display as, where I can go and change the type of graph. So for instance, I can change this to a line graph or perhaps an area graph. In this case, the data might make more sense as a pie graph, which will show me that. Or, you know, I could get a little fancier with a donut graph. Again, in any of these cases, when I mouse over the various different areas, I will see information about what that particular uh, part of the graph is. I'm going to change this back to a column graph. and. I'll also come over here and on the left side it says show and I've chosen top values and actually up here in the search line at the top you'll see that there's the word top and that's what we're uh, how we're getting this. I'm going to look at the values that I could choose and there are a number here average, max, min, mode, standard deviation. Now those don't make a lot of sense for caller ID. I can though choose count which will show me a count of caller ID mentions versus the time for the results of the past seven days. So if I go over this, I can see there's been 13 calls today, June 6th, one yesterday, the 5th, uh, four, you know, and so on. But I can do this. I'm going to switch this back, though, to top values. Is that what makes the most sense for me here? As you can see, this is a very quick changes. All of this is happening in your browser, so you can be able to experiment and see what's going on. Uh, I can also click on a column in this particular case and I will jump to the log results associated with that particular, in this case, caller ID. So again, this is report on results. You can find it in, in any of the search queries that you do. You'll see this link right there, and you could jump to that and look at the res results in a report format. If you'd like to try out the reporting capabilities of Prophecy Log Search, you can go to evolution.voxeo.com and log in with your developer account. If you don't have one, you can create a developer account for free and start building voice applications today. If you have questions about this screencast, please feel free to email them to dyork at voxeo.com. And if you'd like more information about Prophecy Log Search or other screencasts, please visit blogs.voxeo.com. Thank you.